Yeah, yeah. To provide, we have uh, professionals and uh, skilled labour. Here is uh, Mr. Marcus Dachung. He's a, reg he's a, he's a registered animal scientist too. We are working together on the farm. We have uh, Asiru, who, uh, who is uh, the Fulani headsman taking care of our cattle. So we are trying to do just uh, we we have uh, we are trying to expand and make things to be more lively for people around in terms of animal protein intake. So we we are we are looking for interested. Uh, uh, philanthropists around who can invest in this business so as to make life more meaningful for people around. My name is Shola Sanusi, a registered animal scientist with the Nigerian Institute of Animal Science. I'm, I'm a consultant with Ripple White, the Goha Group section. Uh, we are in a farm now. Uh, who has uh, this uh, a, a farm we are looking up to to, to improve to this level? Because they started like us too, but they have improved. This is these are grasses in about uh, this is about uh, ten acres of land. They have grasses in one section. They have a legume in one section. So uh, that is the tank over there for irrigation facility and uh, uh, forage production is a very lucrative business. And uh, any farm that is uh, that is into cattle uh, production without grass, the business will not yield very well because compounding feed for cattle is not cost cost effective. And uh, uh, forage production alone can fetch a farmer huge amount of money. You will harvest your forage three times in a year. Everything being equal, if 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 there is a very good irrigation system, the seed will be sold. SS feed will be converted into off-season feed like silage, A and co. So the animals, so you can see the animals how well fed they are even during the the, the, the peak of the dry period uh, of the dry season. So you can see them. So and if you see a local cattle somewhere else that. Uh, that uh, rely, uh, rely solely on uh, on grazing, on, on open grazing, their animals now, they are very, very lean now. So, this is a very good system, but they have challenges too of uh, irrigation facility. It's not, uh, the irrigation facility is not uh, standard enough because the, the grasses are supposed to be green, very, very green. So, this is one of the challenges too they are facing here on the farm.